Hey, how you doing? So in this lesson, I'm gonna take you through some of my favorite drills um, related to the left hand. We might do some improvisation as well. Um, <clears throat> a great way to integrate our um, technique along with harmonic internalization and improvisation. I'm a real big believer in that you can work on the violin while you're also working on being a musician from the creative side, the technical side, and the harmonic and rhythmic side. So I'm gonna to try to show share with you some of this, and you can also treat this like a warm-up. We're gonna warm up a little bit in the beginning, okay? We're gonna start with this bossa groove. Above this groove. Now if you want, Very loose. Warm up our left hand just to D major. Any position, any bowing. Back down on A. I'm anticipating because it's a bossa. thirds. Let's put it on the, on the one. Stay loose. Work on your vibrato or on your bow. Any position you want. Integrating. Down on A. Challenge yourself while you warm up. I'm going to anticipate it. You can play along with me. I'll watch this pattern. Back down from B. Now, this is going to be a little trickier. We'll do it slow, so. Improvising your bowing or your fingering. Work at your own pace. Challenge it. Like if it's too easy, then harmonize in fourths or in thirds. Or six. Let's go down twice as fast with the fourth. It'll sound like this. Okay. Oh wait. That was that was four times as fast. So we'll do we'll do it like this. We'll do um Okay, on B. One and two and three. From B down and
fast if you want. this one. Okay, that's a fourth stacking fourths in D major from G. Sorry, down. write these down to make it easier for yourself you know write these down on a piece of paper uh, just make a little chart of it um, or you can just put the scale on the page and the reason I like to suggest that you do write some things down is because it will accelerate the process uh, for you to then be able to turn the page over um, so let's do a few, a few more of these let's do uh, let's do sevenths okay and we'll do them we'll do them kind of slow so we'll do like no I think we can do it faster than that. What do you think? Yeah, we'll do it. Um, okay, three and four and. Keep going. Back down from F sharp. could be thinking about your bow arm, your left, uh, your right arm, your right hand. Uh, let's do the sevenths as double stops now, okay? You can focus on your intonation, whatever you want. so you can hear yourself. Let's do sixths. So we're going to invert it. Okay, you got me on that? Sixths. Here we go from G. gives you some insights into how I like to warm up the patterns that I give you you don't have to treat those as um, you know um, literally the point is to create patterns for yourself and challenges for yourself that allow you to integrate harmonic internalization with your bow your left hand and all the things that our teachers tell us to do as you know when it comes to the violin so my approach you know my teacher Michael Davis you know 
Um, he always, you know, encouraged me to be focused when I was doing uh, scales and etudes on the, the, the central problems, whether it was about shifting or intonation or sound production. It was always whatever you're working on, it's a means to that end. And so the point is that you can use these types of improv, this type of, you know, uh, patterns and little problems that you create for yourself on the spot to be constantly discovering more on your instrument, but also maintaining and, and, and developing that ability with the left hand and the right arm or warming up, whatever it might be. So, um, as we work on these sixths and thirds and sevenths, and you can do seconds, fourths, all these kinds of things, it's just going to help you to be able to access what I think of as like the, this palette of a key signature. So to me, I just, I hear, you know, C sharp and F sharp as applied to A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then I want to be able to kind of find anything on the instrument that relates to that. So for example, uh, play is going to be limited by my technical ability, which is, again, why I'm always trying to sort of integrate those things in the practice. I hope this helps you. I'm going to let the uh, the loop just play out for you so that you can do your own workout over the rest of this loop. Uh, and obviously, you can find backing tracks, uh, the separate backing track I'm going to make as well. And if there's anything that you would like to see me make or, you know, just let me know in a comment how this strikes you, if this is helpful, if there's something I could do to change these to make them even more helpful. And as always, look for the links in the description in case you want to get my free um, giveaway courses and or sign up to be a part of my uh, online studio and, and lots of other good stuff. So uh, until I see you again, hopefully soon, happy practicing. And here's the, uh, here's the loop for you.